So I've decided to make a video on how to handle aggressive snakes and how to tame them down, which I've had a lot of people ask me, so I thought, hey, might as well, because sounds a good idea. So today I'm going to be working with little, can't really see him, but little Bradley carpet python right there. And my little red tail right here. You see the difference. One's newer than the other, so one's a lot less aggressive. So, I'll show you how I get out. The reason I have the towels up here is just so that help keep humidity in a little bit. Alright, hold on, I gotta take this down. Alright, so show you exactly how to handle how I handle my aggressive snakes. Which she's not exact he's not exactly the best tempered snake. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Hold on. You can tell that she's not exactly, she doesn't even want me to take my camera back right now. She's, she could be better. As you can tell, she's not very happy with me right now. But, you know, what you want to do is just... Take like a bag or something, cover up their head, and then hold on. Usually by now she would have tried to tag me, but he's good as long as you handle your animals a bit. At least maybe two times a day, about 15 minutes each if you can. You should start to notice a difference within possibly a couple of days to a week. Which most of the time she's not exactly great at all. I have to take a lot of precautions with her. It's not that by it gets getting bit hurts. It's just I'd rather not have to handle a snake. That's all it's going to do is bite me. So... I breed snakes a bit, so I mean, there's some that I handle a lot just because, but other than that, that's what you do. The more you hold them, the more they'll tame down, and bred these third, or carpet pythons are really great snakes, it's just, their temperament's not amazing, you can get them to calm down though. Remember, they're still a snake no matter what. Still gonna be a wild animal at, at the end of the day, so you can't always say they're never gonna bite you because there's always a chance that they will. So, now I'll show you the difference one that I've been working with for I wanna say about a year and a half now. One of my first red tails. Alright, hold on. By the way, when they're this small, you better hope that you have something to cover it up, cover the tank up to where they can't get out, make sure it's closed really good, because they'd like to get out. 
I've had many experiences with them getting out. It's not great. So now on to this girl. Right now she is in shed. So she doesn't look amazing. But you can definitely tell the difference between the two. Right now her tank's all wet because she's in shed. So with this girl right here, just let her know you're here. And then she's very, very well mannered snake. All it takes is practice. A little bit of work with them. They're just really good temperament. She's a little pastel boa, about She's only about a year and a half old, steadily growing. She's going to be hopefully a really good breeder for me in the future. So I only have the two snakes right now in this just because of the only ones I have in my room. I don't feel like going to get any other ones, but other than that, they're very, very, it's not easy, or it's not hard at all to tame down snakes. It's very, very easy. And snakes are very easy to work with. All you need to do is a little bit of practice and just passion for the animal. But other than that, let me know if you want to see anything else that has anything to do with snakes. I'll make more videos or just different stuff. Let me show you one more time of how he is. See? He's not exactly, he doesn't like being touched. See, that's the reason right there why I be careful when I handle him. Because like I said, it doesn't get, it doesn't hurt getting bit. Just getting bit's not exactly fun. But, you gotta deal with it if you wanna work with snakes. You're gonna have to take the risk of getting bit. It's just how it is. Snakes are wild animals, whether or not they've been in captive their entire life. So, if you want to know anything else, subscribe to my channel, comment, leave me anything else that you might think that I possibly did wrong, any information that you might want to add to it, this is just my way, so, just, yeah, like, subscribe, just ask me if you want me to do stuff, I'll try to do it, and I'll get back to you, video responses are good too, but other than that, yep.